Hey y'all, welcome back to DC Motorworks. Got here an instrument cluster out of a R129 SL. That's the SL that ran from 1990 to 2002. It's also going to be very similar to the 140 chassis and also can date back to the 126, 124, and a bunch of other Mercedes models. Anything here with the mechanical odometer. See if y'all can guess what a very common problem on these is. And it is the odometer gears. We've got a pair of them here. So a lot of times what usually happens, these are plastic gears and they do fail with age. But what usually happens is someone will reset their trip meter here while the car is moving, which it's not designed to do. And that will break the gears. So I've got this one here today. We're going to take it apart and replace these gears so that we can get this odometer and trip meter working. It's always funny in the older Mercedes, you know, they say this is the correct mileage, you know, almost all of these at this point, I'm sure they're off by just a little bit because for at least some time, the odometer probably wasn't working because of these gears. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by removing the front bezel here and separating the two pieces. This is held in by just two Phillips head screws. Sometimes they're like a T10 Torx, T15 Torx, depending on the model. Remove one there, one there. And then, you just have a bunch of clips here on the bottom that you kind of have to simultaneously mess with. Pull the front bezel there. Leaves you with the rear section. So next you can see we've got a few different Phillips screws here to remove the speedometer. Set it to the side, and we're left with what we need to play with here. So our next step here is removing the needle. So what you do is you pull it carefully over the stop here, make a mark of where it lands. You can see where it's at the stop. And we're gonna twist it counterclockwise. Until it reaches that point where it just pops out set that aside then we have to start peeling back the faceplate cover here again you want to be very gentle while doing this but you don't crease it or tear it or anything along those lines Once we get to the bottom here, where the needle stop is, right down here, we'll put some pressure behind it and slowly twist and pull it up. See, that pops it out. Put that aside. Got the same thing with the bezels here. Gonna pop them out gently from behind. And 
Here's your faceplate removed. We're going to set that face down to keep it nice and safe. See now we have better access to the odometer. We got some screws here and that's what we're going to remove next. See, it separates the faceplate from the odometer motor. Yeah. Getting closer, have our prize here. Now that this is out, we can remove the motor here. Two Phillips screws. removed see there are two little teeth gears and what you see there you can see that bottom tooth is broken see on our replacements here there's teeth all the way around See our little broken tooth right there. There it is, right there on the tip of my screwdriver. So now we're going to get a shop air and clean all this out. How that works here. So with all that done, go ahead and carefully put our motor back on. Let's see how this works now. Don't mind running this one up just a couple miles. Just to check to make sure it works. It's all happy now. So we can start putting it back together. What we're doing here is just adjusting our needle alignment. It's about spot on there. I'm going to make sure it hits both stops. So it hits that one. Carefully go over your needle stop. And hits that one as well. Make sure it doesn't drag anywhere. It goes back nice and smooth. So this one's ready to go. Now, when we press the reset, it goes back to zero. It should be working all good to go now.